The three little pigs were trembling with fear. Would their plan work, or would the big bad wolf soon be inside their little house? Suddenly, down the chimney came the big bad wolf, and with a huge splash, fell straight into the cooking pot. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after. That story was scary, Daddy. A big bad wolf can't really come down the chimney, can he? Of course not, Caillou. It's just a story. Now, you settle down to sleep. It's getting late. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. Sweetie, what's the matter? Did you have a scary dream? There's a monster under my bed. I heard it growling. I think it's the big bad wolf. Oh, Caillou, the big bad wolf isn't real. I thought I could sleep here with you and Daddy. You're a big boy now, Caillou. You have to sleep in your own bed. How about I go and check under your bed for monsters? Come on, buddy. Let's go and look together. Okay. I don't hear anything. It was coming from under there. No monsters here. Check the closet, Daddy. Sometimes monsters hide in there, too. Be careful. No monsters in here, either. But I heard it. Now, you hop back into bed. Can you check under the bed one last time? Just to make sure. Okay, but then you have to go to sleep. A <laughs> ah, 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 monster! It's the big bad wolf! It's going to eat us! Oh! It's not a big bad wolf, it's just Gilbert! I think Gilbert might have been purring in his sleep. He does that sometimes when he's dreaming. I'm sorry I called you a monster, Gilbert. I wasn't really scared. I knew it was Gilbert all along. Sleep tight, Caillou. Mommy and I are just next door if you need us. Though you'll be extra safe with Gilbert protecting you. <laughs> My uncle gave this to me for my birthday. Wow! We can do all sorts of practical jokes with this. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Which one should we use first? I'm not sure. Why don't you decide, Caillou? Hmm. Oh! Funny boys. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hi, Leo. Hello, Caillou. What are you boys up to? We got you some peanuts, Daddy. Would you like some? For me? That's very nice of you, Caillou. Thank you. Oh, oh, you boys got me. <laughs> okay. Prank, Rosie. some juice? Oh, why, yes, Caillou. I am a little thirsty. Rosie, do you want to help me with the ice cubes? Ice cubes! Ice cubes! <laughs> Thank you very much, you two. Was this a prank? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, Deputy Teddy, I think the town is going to be safe now. We caught the Rexy Bandit. <gasps> Sheriff Caillou, come quick. Howdy, Clementine. What's wrong? Sheriff Caillou. An outlaw is trying to rob the bank! <gasps> oh no! What are we waiting for? Let's ride! was fun. Now I just need to get out of here before the sheriff arrives. <laughs> Not so fast, cowboy. Well, well, well. Looky here. That money isn't yours. It is now. I'm the sheriff in these parts, and I say you have to give it back. <laughs> Take the money back, I'll take you to jail. Well, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sheriff, you did it! The town is safe again. Thank you. Don't thank me, partner. Thank Deputy Teddy, the toughest bear in the West! Ugh. I'll get you for this, Sheriff Caillou! Yeehaw! Sheriff? <gasps> oh, Sheriff! I thought you all might be hungry after saving the day, so I brought you some cowboy cookies. Wow! Thanks, Mommy! These ought to keep you full of energy for your next adventure. Yeah! And Sheriff Caillou is always ready to save the day! It was the end of a busy day, and Caillou wanted a bedtime story. <gasps> Daddy, would you read to me? All right, Caillou. Scooch over. This is the story of a time-traveling global adventurer. In the plains of Africa, wild animals roam. You never know what you'll find. Whoa. Did you feel that, Caillou? Hop in, Caillou. Phew! I made it! That was a close one, Caillou. <laughs> in the great ice sheets of the Arctic, extraordinary sights are never far away. Come on, Caillou. Let's see what else we can find. <gasps> Looks like you've made friends there, Caillou. And in the great pyramids of ancient Egypt, you never know what friends you could make. <laughs> wow, Caillou, you look just like a real ancient pharaoh. So do you! And on the other side of the Mediterranean Sea, Paris, a city of history, food, and art. Mm. Bonjour, Caillou. Very good. Mm. What do you say we go and see the real thing? Sure, Caillou. Let's go. <sighs> Quite a view, huh, Caillou? <sighs> That's enough excitement for one night. 
Time for bed. Like a lemonade, please. Oops, uh, that'll be one dollar, please, mister. <gasps> How's it going, Caillou? It's going great, Mommy. Look how much I've made already. That's wonderful, Caillou. It looks busy. Do you need any help? No, thank you, Mommy. I've got this all under control. Okay. Well, you call us if you need anything. We'll be right over here. One dollar? Two dollars? Three dollars? Four dollars? Five dollars? <laughs> oh, he is a scallywag. <laughs> Pepper, off. Come this way. I am sorry, young man. I hope he didn't bother you. Oh, no. I love dogs. <laughs> Please, can I play with him a bit longer? What do you think, Pepper? <laughs> and what is your name, young man? I'm Caillou. Well, Caillou, you go off and play, and I'll have a glass of that delicious-looking lemonade. Let's go, Pepper. What's his name? Pepper! Because he's black, see? Grub! Grub! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone is a little excited. Yeah, he's really friendly. <laughs> Do you want to pet him, Rosie? <laughs> Here, Pepper. Kiss, huh, Rosie? Caillou, don't forget this. They've had a wonderful time together, haven't you, Caillou? Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for taking him off my hands, Caillou. I haven't had such a restful day out in a long time. <laughs> and I think Pepper enjoyed himself, too. Pepper needs to cool down. Hmm. I know. Pepper, let's go play in the fountain. All right, Caillou. Tell us about your weekend. What did you get up to? Well, we were having a barbecue. Mommy and Daddy went to the store and bought all kinds of stuff to cook. Burgers, hot dogs, even the vegetables look tasty. But me and my <laughs> friends needed to work up an appetite. Slip and slide! Oh! <laughs> 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 
It's time to eat. What the oh! Spend them all at once. Race you to the bumper cars, Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, kids, that was great. You must be getting hungry. 
Well, what would you like? Hmm. Let's see what we can get with this. That is one cold milkshake, huh, Caillou? <gasps> Mini golf! Let's go! Almost there, Clem. One more tap should do it. That's it, Caillou. You can do this. Caillou, did you have a good day? The best! <laughs> Watch me, Grandma! <laughs> well done, Caillou! What's the matter, Caillou? That boy on the skateboard reminded me of when I had an accident, Grandma. Do you want to tell me about it? It might make you feel better. It was when I had a skateboard from Leo for my birthday. I couldn't wait to try it out, but Mommy said I had to wait until we got the special knee and wrist pads. Did you need a helmet too, Caillou? Yes, but I already had my bike helmet. I was too excited to wait, so I put my bike helmet on and went into the garden. I took the skateboard to the top of the path and tried to go a bit faster. The wheel hit a stone and the skateboard threw me off. I put my hand out and... I bumped my wrist on the ground. <laughs> what did you do? I was crying and holding my arm and I went to find Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Caillou, what's the matter? Did you hurt your wrist? <laughs> I fell off my skateboard. <laughs> Caillou, I told you to wait. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's go and get you fixed up. Mommy had to take me to the doctor who told me that I had sprained my wrist. That's not broken, but it still really hurt, Grandma. I know it hurts, Caillou. 
I sprained my wrist once, too. Will you want a skateboard, too, Grandma? <laughs> no, Caillou. I slipped on some ice. Did you have a sling, like me? Yes, Caillou. I had to keep my arm resting in a sling for a few weeks until it was better. Thanks, Grandma. I feel better now. Have you used your skateboard again, Caillou? No, Grandma. I'm too scared about falling off. But if you wear all your safety gear, you can practice and you won't hurt yourself if you fall. <gasps> Oh, that looks so much fun. I wish I was your age, Caillou. I definitely want to learn to skateboard. Gosh, my arms are tired. I must have pushed Rosie on that swing 100 times. Why don't we all have a banana and then we'll have some more energy? So, Caillou, what were you telling Grandma about? About when I fell off my skateboard and hurt my wrist. It's made Caillou scared of skateboarding again. But it does look so much fun. Yes, it does. When I was a young boy, I had a pair of roller skates. I fell over a lot, but I kept practicing until I could skate without falling over. It was my favorite thing to do. Maybe you should give it another go, Caillou. Yes, I think I will. But I'm going to wear all the special pads this time. When Caillou got home, he dressed in his helmet, knee pads, and wrist guards. Go, Caillou! Oh, Caillou, are you okay? I'm fine, Mommy. My guards worked! Try again, Caillou. You almost had it. <laughs> I did it! King Caillou, we have some bad news. What is it? Over there, we saw a giant shape in the sky. Maybe it was a bird? It looked like a dragon. A dragon? It was coming this way. There it is. It's a green fire breather. <gasps> How can we defeat it? It will be very hard. Dragons are always angry and very hungry. What do they eat? Teddy bears and spaghetti. Oh no! We should go and hide Sir Teddy in the dungeon. He'll be safe in there. Working out how to attack! Quick! Everyone grab a sword and shield! Okay! Is everyone ready? Ready! ready. Charge! What's going on? We're trying to scare the dragon away. Caillou, look at poor Gilbert. He looks really scared. I don't think he understands you're playing a game. But he's the dragon, Mommy. He wants to eat Teddy and all our spaghetti. 
I've got an idea. Why don't you ask Rexy if he'd like to join in and play the part of the dragon? That's a great idea, Mommy! There. Rexy is much more like a dragon. <gasps> oh no! This dragon's even bigger! You brave knights deserved a treat. Thanks, Mommy. Another dragon! <laughs> this is Gilbert, and he's a very friendly cat. Aren't you, Gilbert? And see? He likes eating ice cream, not Teddy's. <laughs> it was World Book Day. All the kids were so excited to dress up as their favorite characters. But no one was as excited as Caillou, who came dressed as a pirate. All right now, class, gather round. Settle down, settle down. Now, as you know from your wonderful costumes, today is World Book Day. <laughs> but it's not just about dressing up in costume. It's about getting your imaginations going through reading. <gasps> so here are some vouchers. You can spend them on whatever book you <gasps> like at the store after school. Wow, Leo, look at this! Caillou and his friends couldn't wait to spend their vouchers. They thought long and hard about what book they wanted to buy. Caillou and his friends were exchanging vouchers. There were so many different colors and pictures. Oh, cool! Yours has a dinosaur on it! Look at Clementine's! It has a wolf on it!
too boring. With their imaginations truly fired up, Caillou and his friends couldn't wait to get reading. Caillou was excited to take his book home and have all the adventures of a pirate. <laughs> 